Or how do you become successful? What would you tell everybody? Yeah. Okay, I want to pay for them. And can I pay for like the next five people? Hey, you know what? I want to buy their breakfast. Has anyone just randomly bought you like Louis Vuitton bag? Yeah, because I'm not comfortable. He's recording and... He's not filming me, right? He's not filming. It's just on. All right. Well, He's not filming me. Guys, what's going on? Welcome to our penthouse suite here at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. Today, I'm going to teach you exactly how over the last several years, we have made a lot of money, um, but more importantly, had a lot of success in the nutrition coaching space, in the online space, and ultimately done the same for several other people that have come to us looking to create the same results. And it may not be what you think. I'm gonna have you follow me throughout a whole day. We're gonna do lots of very random things that you probably aren't thinking we're gonna do, but I promise you at the very end, if you stay with us, you're going to know the exact secrets to how you can make money today, tomorrow, and forever online or in any endeavor that you do. This video is all about paying it forward. This is for you. I want you to be successful, so let's go. Hold on, you know what? Can I just pay? Hold on, can I just pay for you guys? Okay, I want to pay for them. And can I pay for like the next five people? What? Oh my goodness, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Yeah, you guys enjoy. It's on me. Can I just pay for like the next five people? Yeah, people come to Vegas to get lucky, so I just figured I'd get some people lucky today. So enjoy your coffee. Yeah, absolutely, go ahead. I think they want to be in this line because I'm paying. Oh, you want me? Yeah. It's okay, I'll buy hers too. Okay. I'm just paying, so you just have to order. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Oh, really? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, 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 you're so welcome. Absolutely, enjoy. Go ahead, I got it. Just order, I'm gonna pay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, cool, I got it. Lucky day? Your lucky day. My lucky day too. I'm gonna buy you guys coffee, so just order and I'll pay for it. You can hug me. Absolutely, go ahead. You ready? Okay. You're so welcome, enjoy your day. You guys enjoy, enjoy your day. You're most welcome. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you so much. Thanks for letting me do that. You guys enjoy, have a good day. You're most welcome, have a great day. All right guys, number one down. Let's keep walking and I'll explain to you why we're doing this. here at Planet Hollywood. We're gonna get some breakfast. Um, there's not many breakfast spots in Vegas, so we're just gonna do this super quick. Stop number one was buying a bunch of people coffee at Starbucks. The real secret, I think, to having success in, in any endeavor is helping other people. And, and literally every dime I've ever made, any amount of success I have in my life is because I've wanted to help people. And it's really crazy that like we're here doing this in Las Vegas and you know, you're around all of the grandeur and the, the luxury in Las Vegas. And uh, you know, growing up, I, I loved those things, but I loved them for other people. I, I always like envisioned myself as somebody that wanted to be able to take care of others and to to pay it forward and have impact at that level and that's what's super cool about this and as I look back and I reflect and I think about all right how can I take you watching this video get you to the levels you want to be at the reality is I need you to understand that helping other people is the foundation of all things success and so today we're just gonna help just do really cool things for people you saw the reactions in there everybody was genuinely surprised I mean it's a five or six dollar cup of coffee wasn't a lot of money but they just thought it was super cool that somebody would take time out of their day to come in buy them coffee uh, they all said it made their day and I promise you the things that we do are only gonna get bigger and bigger so we're gonna go have breakfast I'm definitely gonna buy breakfast for somebody's table in here we're gonna do some other cool shit later today and I promise you're gonna enjoy it so let's keep going let's see how many people's lives we can change let's keep having impact let's keep paying it forward and ultimately let's make sure you're successful let's go hey you know what I want to buy their breakfast yeah so you can give them their card back I'll just pay for it is that okay? Okay, fantastic. I would love to do that. Thank you so much. Yeah, I want to buy you guys breakfast. Thank you. You're so welcome. I hope you guys have the best day. We want you guys to have an amazing day. We have to run 13 miles in a few hours. Oh, wow. Hopefully this breakfast helps. Yes, it did. There you go. Very helpful. That'll be really helpful. You won't even feel it. Right? You won't feel 13 miles. No. No, if you get drunk enough, it won't matter. That sounds like a great plan, by the way. Has anybody ever randomly bought you breakfast? No. Never. Never. Do you feel like that's a, like, I feel like that should happen more often. It should. Right? It should. I feel like more people should pay it forward. Yes. Because it just, it's so nice I feel like it's just like the right thing to do. Like, you should help people. Exactly. Do you feel like more people should do that? Just yeah, like random, yeah. yeah. You feel like it's the right thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Does it happen a lot? Um, when I used to live in Indiana, it happened a lot, but out here, not so much. 
Really? Yeah. That doesn't happen. People don't just be like, hey, I want to pay for another table. No. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. People that do that, do you think they are more successful or less successful than other people? Of course more. You think more, right? So why do we feel like people that aren't successful don't have that mindset? They're penny pinching. <laughs> but even when you're penny pinching, don't you think you can still add value to somebody? Yeah, but they don't think like that. They don't think like that. But do you think if they thought like that, maybe they'd become more successful? Yeah. It's crazy, right? Yeah. How, how can we make your day even better? Um, just, you know, keep doing what you're doing and you guys have a good day. Well, we want to do something for you too. What can we do for you? I don't need anything. What would help you? How, what, how much do you make in an average shift on, in tips? Like 200. Okay, can we just match that? What? Here. Stop it. You said 200, right? Yeah. Okay, here. Oh so let's So let's match that. So now you can at least like have two days work of oh one. And so now I'll go take a day for you and enjoy right. it. And today I picked up a shift. There you go. Yeah, because my Look, you did something nice for somebody today. Right. You picked up a shift yeah. and now you're right. really making what you're supposed to make. Oh my God, thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs> so absolutely. I love the attitude. Going home now. <laughs> I love I love the mindset. I love the attitude of wanting to pay it forward. So yeah, yeah, yeah super yeah. cool. Thank you. So you're most much. welcome. Absolutely. Oh my God. So real quick, guys, while Rico was in the bathroom, they brought me the check, and the, our waitress told the manager what we were doing, and they applied the employee discount to our meal. So when you pay it forward, it always comes back to you. This is just the beginning. It's gonna keep getting crazier. Let's go. shit on YouTube, so. Oh, that sounds so fun. I want to watch that. I quit my job. I used to be a waiter at yeah. Mastro's because of him. Oh, really? During the shift, yeah. yeah. He literally, he came up to me in the middle of the event. This we is had, a true story. I'll send you the video. We were hosting 60 people. Um, and we were running out the top floor of Mastro's, and he came up to me and he said, this is the last table I'm ever going to wait on. And I thought he was full of shit. And then at the end of it, he, like, shot bow tie off out and it was amazing. Still to this day, like I tell the story so many times, it was great. Isn't that wild? It's crazy, right? Oh. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's full circle. Like... Full circle. This guy watched me come from nothing. <laughs> totally. He watched me come to Mastro's and I would bring two people in as my guest. And by the time four they, people, the night he people. quit, that's 60. Yeah. Like we oh rented out the top floor. And so now our next event in April, we got 600 people coming and then next year we'll have over 1,000. And uh, and so he's, he literally watched us build it from the ground up. and. Now he's going to sell me a house. Dude. Always good, man. So good to see you, brother. Thank you so much. Kid. Let's just do that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, because we're going to be quick. Cool. Thank you. It's 3.50, the day has just flown by. We've taken care of someone's Starbucks, we have bought some people breakfast, we've given the waitress some money, we've talked to people about paying it forward and how beneficial that can be in society, and then we actually went and we started looking at houses out here in Las Vegas. So for those of you guys that don't know, I am stationed, or I'm home based is out of East Coast, uh, Northern Virginia, Washington DC area. Um, I did just get a house out there, but I'm looking for a West Coast home now for the West Coast operations of the business. And so that was really cool. We actually got to go out and see some lots, some custom builds. Um, um, I have no doubts that I, we will have a place on the West Coast very soon. But the best part about it was we got to see my good friend, Tony Vanya. And for those of you guys that don't know the story, Tony was actually my waiter at Mastro's for, goodness, almost five years. And so he watched me, and, and the story he told today um, was he watched me start coming to Mastro's with two people, and then four people, and then eight people, and 12. And, the very last night that he ever waited a table was the night that I rented out the top floor of Masters. We had 60 people, 
He made me give a speech. I gave the speech. He apparently got really inspired and he quit his job that night. We went to the front, he took a shot, he took the bow tie off, he was out, he was like, fuck this, I'm done. And he went all in on real estate. But the best part is the next year he became rookie of the year uh, for Berkshire Hathaway. This, uh, this past year he was number two in the whole company. Um, so shout out to my boy Tony. Thank you for taking us around today. And obviously now he's probably gonna sell me a house. So it's amazing what happens when you're around the right people and you do the right things. And as always, you need to be paying it forward. So. Uh, now we're gonna go surprise somebody at a designer store um, and hopefully make their day. And you know, like we said, people are coming to Vegas to get lucky. We're gonna see if we can make a wish come true and continue to pay this forward. So let's go see who we can find and what we can do for them. We'll see you down there. No, so like if there's someone in there that like sees a bag they like, I just wanna buy it for them. Wow. Do you, think, do you think somebody would like that? Probably, I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. It I don't know. The would, would you like that? You wouldn't like it if somebody just randomly bought you a bag? Yeah. You would? I, I don't. Has anyone ever done that for you? No. No. People oh, don't... he's recording you. He, yeah, but that doesn't matter. Like, but I'm still going to buy somebody a bag. Well, depends on the person, maybe? Depends on the person. Yeah. Well, I would think that people should do more things like that. Do people do that normally? Do people come here to, like, buy stuff for other people? For gifts, yeah? Or no, no, no. Just for, like, random people that they okay. don't know. It never happened. Like, it never happens. So this is a first. Because we're not allowed for recording inside. Well, he does. He's not recording. He, he, the key's not going to do anything with that. Yeah, because I'm not comfortable. He's recording, and I'm not sure if I. That's can... fine. We're outside. No, no, you're not going to be in anything. It's okay. I need to just go buy something. Okay. And I want to so... buy for. I want to buy for someone else too. Okay, so I have somebody to help you for. Okay, time. that's fine. Okay. You should totally still record. You see anybody in here that's like by themselves that I could buy it for? Because I don't see anybody. He's not filming me, right? He's not filming. It's just on. He's not filming me. For the sake of everyone, can we just have it off, please? It's, it's off. The camera itself is off. We turned it off before we came in. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> we got warned outside. That's why he turned it off okay. before we I came in. I see the screen, so that's why I'm a little concerned. Yeah, but it's not recording. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, because I was... I can't wait to put that in the video. I cannot wait. She wouldn't even say bye. We're horrible humans because we were filming in Louis Vuitton. Literally, there was five people like staring at us while yeah, we, we were while we were getting a bag, like being customers, spending over three thousand dollars in Louis Vuitton. We got put on camera patrol because apparently we're horrible humans for trying to pay it forward. So, listen, I guess like the moral of that story is even when you're doing lots of good things, the results may not show immediately, and this is actually pretty true. <laughs> Like, you're gonna do lots of good things and you're still gonna encounter some difficult times. Don't let it change who you are or change the action steps because now we're just gonna go to another store and we're gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna keep helping people. We're gonna keep paying it forward all day. We're gonna keep changing lives. That's what we do. So, fuck you, Louis Vuitton and Bellagio. I feel like maybe we should try to meet somebody outside of Louis Vuitton and convince them that we should buy them a bag. Can I ask you guys a quick question? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Can I ask you guys a quick question? Is it okay, if, and he is filming me, so like if you don't want to be on camera, it's okay, and we won't use it, but can I ask you guys a quick question? Has anyone just randomly bought you like Louis Vuitton bag? Yeah, my husband. Your husband? Yeah. Has anyone like when you're out just like offered to go in there and like buy a bag for you? No. Do you feel like more people, do you feel like more people should do that? I don't think that's a thing. I think more people should do stuff like that. We're looking for somebody that we can just randomly buy a bag for. That is a lie. <laughs> no, it's, it's not a lie. I think it's Who should it be? She's a nurse. And this is her, like, congratulations gift. Oh, then you absolutely her, should get it. Uh, for getting her dream job. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. So we should totally buy you a bag. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> it's tough if you're Yeah, honest. no, we, totally, we should totally do it. Okay, so as soon as it's your turn, we're going to go in there with you and buy you a bag. Uh, you can help us too. That's so nice. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So can, is it cool? Can we buy your bag? All right, cool. So we'll just wait. This is amazing. So she's been wanting it. So this is perfect. So now we're going to pay it forward. And, and hopefully, like, in your new job, you'll go out and you'll help a lot of people and you'll pay it forward. I mean, you're a nurse. Like, you're changing lives. That's amazing. Congratulations and thank you for doing that. That's great. So. Cool, so we want, to take, we want to take care of it. Oh, I think that's a good choice. I'm a fan. Yeah? yeah. We're good? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Like, we, we're just trying to make a video proving that, like, the real way to become successful in the world is to help people. 
And so if we can go out in Vegas and we can help a lot of people and make their day, then other people should want to do the same. So we're hoping that people see this and they don't just see like, oh, we bought people shit, but that like people should actually go out and like want to help people. Oh, it's amazing. Wow. See, like, and that's the thing. I mean, we obviously didn't know you guys before this video. And it's like, look at all of like the great things that come together. Like when you just go out and try to do a nice thing. So do you, do you agree or do you disagree that to become successful in the world, like you should help people? All success is predicated on helping other people, right? So we just want to pay it forward and help somebody today. You have somebody coming. He's not, he's not recording. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. Yeah, you're so well. Yeah, of course, of course. Absolutely. Best of luck with the career. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, here, do it with the bag. Awesome. So nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, guys, we are outside of Louis Vuitton. Um, as always, they got mad about us filming inside their store, but um, that was super cool. Like, honestly, the, like, the genuine just excitement and appreciation that you could tell was coming out of that woman was unreal. Um, and to be able to just pay it forward and, and make somebody's day, like you could tell like so much is going on in her life. Um, I don't know if Rico got it on camera, but originally she's from the Ukraine. Um, like how crazy is it that like this time, as we're filming right now, um, you know, she's from there. She has family over there. She just got a job in nursing. She's in her dream career. Like you never know what someone's going through. You never know how you can make somebody's day. And literally it just takes the smallest thing. It doesn't have to be a Louis Vuitton bag. It can be opening up the door for somebody. It can be saying hi to somebody. It can just be just paying it forward, whatever you can do. And I promise you all success is built on the back of paying it forward and doing things for others, helping people just get to where they want to be, right? If we look at it from a business perspective, it's providing solutions to problems. And so that is always what it's about. But we're going to keep this day going. We've got dessert coming up with some very special guests that I think know a thing or two about helping people. You guys will see them later on and then we'll get one more fun random act of kindness night before we shut this down. So we're going to keep it going. See you guys soon. All right guys, we just finished dessert uh, and dinner with uh, the man himself, Mr. Alex Hormozzi and Layla Hormozzi and two people that I consider to be extremely successful. Um, I don't just consider it, it's just facts. Just wanted to let them make a little cameo and ask, uh, dude, you know, this whole video has been about how do you make people successful or how do you become successful? What would you tell everybody? So I'm gonna quote Shane Parrish. Becoming successful is doing the obvious thing for an uncommonly long period of time without convincing yourself that you're smarter than you are. And so I think that most people know what to do, they just don't do it. Most people know how to get a six pack, they don't do it. They know that they should be moving more and eating less, they don't do it. They know that they should be making phone calls and doing reach outs to get new customers, they don't do it. They know they should be following up faster, they know they should be asking their wife how her day was, and they don't do it. So it's a lot more about doing what you know you should be doing rather than not and doing it for a very 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 long period of time and not expect it to happen overnight there it is that's all you need don't listen to the rest of the video just listen to him because <laughs> if you do you'll probably be really successful yeah he's videoing me i don't know why i don't know him at all he just has a video camera on me all the time he's really nice though i you know what i think since she ran the marathon i think we should buy you guys dinner no really like i want to buy your dinner We've been, we've been all day long, we've been trying to like pay it forward and help people and we want to buy your dinner. So, so seriously though, we have, we have this belief that like, if you help enough people, you can be as successful as you want to be in life. Do you guys agree with that? Like, like the real key to success in life is like help as many people as possible, right? Solve a lot of problems and like take care of others. And that's really like all we've been trying to do today. Now we want to buy dinner. What's that? Yeah, we, we try. Thank you. Yeah, you're most welcome. Hey, you guys are good to go. We just paid it. We are at the end of the vlog. It is Sunday night and I have to go get a flight. So hopefully you enjoyed us having a good time, us paying it forward and us truly trying to help people out. You know, like when you really think about things and I look back over the last like eight years and all the success that we've built in multiple different companies, it really all comes down to one thing and that's helping as many people as possible create as many outcomes as they desired. Um, you know, when I first got into it, uh, after overcoming the Thanksgiving miracle, literally being broke, overdrawn in my bank account, not able to afford coffee, I went home and the very first opportunity I was presented to coach an individual, I chose not to collect money, but just to service that individual. And I believe it really set the foundation for us moving forward. So 
as we move forward to the Vegas today, as we look about and, and talk about creating success, I wanted to make sure that you guys saw us do it in real time today. Obviously, our ability to do so today is much higher than it was back then, but it's not about the material things. It's truly about taking the time to connect to people, make them feel like they are special, like they can do things, and, and then ultimately you give them the ability to go out and, and do something greater or achieve something greater than they previously thought. That truly is the foundation of all things success. So obviously we got to have some fun with it here in Vegas. We hope you guys enjoyed it. At the end of the day, I hope you guys can go out and do the same thing in your lives. Go choose impact over everything. I promise it's worth it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.